Hey, lady. Hey, what's going on? Look, I have a favor to ask you. What's that? I, I want to go to this place to investigate, and I was hoping you'd be interested in going with me. Where is the location? That's part of the thing I don't want to tell you. <laughs> what if you didn't know where we were going, and we see what happens? Uh, yeah, I'd be down to do that. Oh, yeah, it feels in here, doesn't it? Yeah, there's seals today. Do you feel that? Yeah. There's these places you go that have a lot of negative history, have a lot of negative experiences, and those aren't always the places that scare me the most. The places that scare me the most are places like this because they remind me of the house I grew up in, and it just brings me right back to being that six-year-old girl who, you know, would run out of rooms and the lights went out and I would cry for my mom and it just, it's just that feeling that like something is, like that somebody's right up on you. I don't know, it's like it's its own living, breathing thing. So this area used to be in the 1900s it turned into a restaurant, and at one point the mob took over, and there's a lot of rumors about what kinds of things were going on in here. There's definitely some history here. There we go. This was the bar for the restaurant, and so the rumors are the mob used to use this space for business dealings and what have you. What I've been told before is that the negativity that people feel they feel it here. The negative experiences people have, they have it here. It was like a definite shift when we walked upstairs. I actually slept in this room. I saw some sort of like light anomaly the last time I was here in this room. It was like over in this area. We were using an audio device and it sounded like something about daddy. Like, daddy help me, or where are you, daddy? The family that started this house, basically, the fields, um, they did lose a couple children, so. I mean, this room feels okay to me today, but. This is my most dreaded part of the house. I do not like the third floor. I slept up there one night and it was terrifying. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually like really nervous to go up there by myself tonight. They motion activate the light there. Oh, 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 it's so heavy up here. Put my cot right here, I slept right here. They think the third floor is where the prostitution happened. And you know, there are stories of things going wrong with that, possibly people dying. The other side of the attic scares me. So it's like a haunted doll staring at you right now walking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> In here, we were doing an investigation and we were again using an audio device and we were asking, what, was, what did you guys use this space for? And we heard a five letter word come through that began with a P and ended with a Y. And it was a male voice. It was so weird. And we were like, wait a minute. I did not just hear that come through. And so we asked again and again, it gave the same answer. And there are rumors of a male who they put in like, I think the 1930s, 40s timeframe that people see a lot. And they describe him as kind of being menacing. Um, and I guess they have seen him up here. They've seen him in various places of the house. Over here, though, is where I had a very personal experience that freaked me out. That was weird. Kind of felt like something brushed by me, but there's, there's nothing in here. I think the last family that lived here, they used these rooms as like playrooms, um, which is a creepy playroom if you ask me I don't I want I don't think I would have played up here we were up here investigating and 
I had an experience and it's funny because it's not, it's not like the scariest experience anybody could tell you about. I don't like, you know, you always hear things of like, and then the demon came out and grabbed me or the dark shadow scratched me or, um, but this was such a physical experience that it's really stuck with me. I was standing up here investigating in the room and I was wearing a cast on my arm. And as we're like asking questions, just, you know, seeing what would happen, I heard and I felt a flick, like somebody took their finger and just flicked my cast. And it was hard and I heard it and I felt it. The only thing I could think that it would could have been is that there's like an old like light bulb socket at the top for like an old lamp and there's a metal pool that hangs down the amount of force that i felt and heard with that flick it doesn't even make sense it was like somebody deliberately just flicked me you're like stepping through the looking glass up here you're not you're not in the same world anymore i think what always sticks with me in my head about the paranormal in general and what i do in general is once you step through that looking glass, can you ever go back? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know what kind of doors were opening. I don't know. I just don't know. It scares me to be up here, to be honest. I am embarking on my journey to see Katrina, my very best friend. She called me up about two weeks ago and asked me if I wanted to go on an investigation to this place she's been to a couple times. Uh, but the whole uh, funny part is she's not telling me where it is. So I'm kind of going into this blinded. And here she is. Do you have any inkling on where I'm taking Honestly, I have no idea where we're investigating. Good. And I like it. I like the element of surprise. Yeah. Well, you'll be surprised. I don't think you've even heard of this place, to be honest. It's not a place that's super well known. When you go into a place and you know the history and you know the experiences, then you know there's the potential to kind of have that in the back of your head. I mean, you can go on as objective as you can, but are you really objective if you know that stuff? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I figured there was no better person to take than you. You're not trying to play a prank on me, are you? Like, no. <laughs> no. I was thinking about this on my drive and we haven't been on an investigation together since it was either Pennhurst or the Show Club. Heather and I used to do this every single weekend in college. Yep. We would just drive from our Friday classes and drive right into the location and film for Insane. the show that we did together. And that's how our friendship started. We're still going though. It's we like are. we were living in the twilight zone for all those years. I know. <laughs> we still got it. Heather, Teddy, here I am. Oh my gosh, we're going on a road trip. I know. <laughs> Old days. You gonna take the camera? Yeah. Go. What? You can't drive with the camera? No, I'm not. I'm not. I can barely like walk with the camera, <laughs> so driving would probably not be the best. Right now, I am taking you to the location, but she still does not know where she's going. Um, and we switched cars because Cat has all the like camera equipment in her car and I have the ghost gear in my car. So uh, we're gonna go meet Kat at an undisclosed location, and then we're gonna go to the actual location. Kat's there right now checking it out, just making sure everything is ready to go. And then we're gonna leave Heather in a haunted location. They're trying to trick me. Got all of our cameras and gear set up, ready to go. Just waiting on Heather and Katrina to get here. Everybody from the 1960s, when they saw like a video camera, they were always like, <laughs> and I just totally did it. I'm like, camera, oh. So I'm just going into it, you know, like an old fashioned investigation. We got some equipment. We're going to go in there, feel the place out. Katrina's probably going to be laughing at me because I'm like, no one knows where I'm going. Yeah. And I'm probably going to be laughing at me because knowing me, I'll probably pick a room that's like, one of the least active areas and be like, I'm feeling something good here. We are really close to the location is what I'm told. Is it on this street or are you just making any turns? Mm -hmm. Why are you driving so slow? Is that it? Is that the location? No, uh really? Yeah. White Hill Mansion. Wow. It's giant. I feel like I'm gonna be weird about the attic for some reason. I don't know why, I have no idea why. You ready to go park? 
Yeah, get our stuff. Yeah.